superficial bread. So basically most of your um, dorsal aspect of your hand is innervated by the cutaneous branch of the radial nerve. So if you knock it out, if you burn your hand so bad like a third degree burn, you might not have any sensation anymore. Right? Because you burn through the dermis layer and you burn off the nerve endings. Know that. Now, another important thing is what do we do with the median nerve? Right? We're done with radio. That's it. It's the best muscle. The median nerve, it's in the middle. If something is in the middle, what's usually find in the middle of a hamburger? Like some kind of cheese burger, right? Some kind of nice little steak, right? So if it's median nerve, it's in the middle. Actually, it's in the middle of a loaf. Two loaves, right? Two loaves. You're like, the median nerve is in between two loaves? Yeah, that's the mnemonic for the all the muscles. Two loaves basically means, let's rewrite it out, the first two lumbricals, Opponents, policies, brevis, your AB doctor, policies, brevis, and your flexor, policies, brevis. Where did I get that from? Let me, let me tell you the story. The median nerve start off all the way, it's going all the way down. It's going to innervate all your flexor muscles right here. Do you see it? Then it's going to pierce through your flexor retinaculum, go out, and send a branch off here called the recurrent, median, recurrent branch of the median nerve. And that's actually all these muscles I call your thinner eminence. All this OF are your thinner eminence. And that's where you get the O from. The opponent's policies allow you to oppose. Can you see that? You literally have to take your thumb and go over and meet this tiny little pinky. That's what makes us better than monkeys, right? Because monkeys can't oppose, right? It's only mammals that can. And AB doctor policies allow you to AB duck your thumb. Can you see that? And if you want to flex it, this is flexion, right? Extend flexion. This is actually a deduction and a abduction. I know. Try that at home, right? You need to know that. Extremely important. Why? Because now, also, I said the two lumbricals. Everybody's bye. How did I just do that? Because the median nerve is working, and the first two lumbricals of my hands are able to do this. So I'm able to flex these muscles because I have this little lumbricals that's in between my metacarpal bones. I want to flex my head, so that's why to love beautiful, good, just mnemonic. You know that you're golden. All right, we knocked out the median nerve. Clinical application, because you know I'm gonna get you. So patient comes in. They tell you, Doc. You know, I've been on the keyboard for so long, and I'm starting to get like tingling and numbness in the first three fingers of my hands. Let's find out what their finger looks like. Right here. One. Like, I'm feeling numb. It's tingling, because I'm on my Blackberry all day, and I'm on the keyboard typing all day. Why? You know what? What they're doing when you do that is you're compressing the median nerve inside your flexor retinaculum. You develop something called carpal tunnel syndrome. Because inside your, between your carpals where your median nerve actually goes through, it basically, it's being compressed by these nerves. Okay? So you get carpal tunnel. Right? Then you can lose sensation literally to hold your hands if there's damage to this nerve. Chronically. What can cause that? Excessive use, right? Pregnancy, hypothyroidism, all cause carpal tunnel. Know that. What other muscles did I say? Uh, your median nerve innervates all your flexor, 
Also, it's Flexor, Harpy, Onaris, Flexor, Harpy, Radials. I'm not going to go into it. Like Flexor, Superficial, uh, Flexor, Digitorum, Superficialis, and Digitorum. All these guys. I like you to flex. See that? Good. That's your media nerve. That's it. Last but not the least, you know it's coming. I can't move on because I actually did not talk about. If you damage the median nerve, what do you get? You get something called a head of benediction. So how do you know the median nerve damage? The patient's gonna come to your office like, yo doc, I'm having a problem with my head. You're like, okay, make a fist. And you do this. No, if you want to make a fist, you have to do this. You literally have to flex everything and flex your thumb also. Not because they can't flex their hands and they can't flex this. They can only do this. It kind of looks like the hand of a Pope sign. It's because the ulnar nerve is still working, but the median nerve is not. So literally their hand stays like that, and they get the hand of benediction. Extremely important. Board style questions, they always get you. Know that. Now, ulnar nerve. People have problems with the ulnar nerve. I don't know. They don't, they don't like it. They really don't. Now, your ulnar nerve, on the other hand, basically innervates 75% of all muscles in your hand. Okay? And what you don't realize is if 75% of all the muscles in your hands are innervated, you literally, all you have to know is that the last two lobes, um, the, the, the last two muscles of your hands, which is basically the last two lumbricals, right, and all your hypothenar muscles, all are innervated by your ulnar nerve. 